My dear friends, uh, welcome to Chess Base Studio. My name is Rustam Kasimjanov. I'm a Grandmaster from Uzbekistan and the former world champion. Our theme today will be uh, an ever popular French defense e4, e6, d4, d5. And um, I've done quite some materials on um, chess uh, openings and on French defense in particular. Uh, for chess base years ago, but today I would like to touch the theme which was not mentioned uh, back then. Uh, it's a very interesting variation of the French defense called McCatchen. Uh, after knight c3, which is one of the very main moves uh, for white in this position, knight f6 and bishop g5. A pretty decent um, American amateur, um, McCatchen, um, back in 19th century, played um, in a similar game against uh, uh, the reigning champion, the reigning world champion back then against um, against Steinitz, and came up with the following uh, pretty uh, unusual idea: played Bishop B4, and after this game. Uh, the line which starts with these moves was called and is um, still known as uh, the McCatchen variation is one of the most interesting uh, lines in the French defense. And um, let's uh, take a look at this position. Uh, now, to begin with, it actually looks uh, that um, by playing bishop g5 and creating this pin, uh, White actually uh, is threatening to win the black knight uh, with e5, but in fact uh, this is not the case. After uh, bishop b4, it turns out that if White were to execute his threat with e5, then um, as is very typical for um, many many openings, Black can actually uh, defend himself by playing h6. Uh, attacking uh, the white bishop and after bishop h4 g5 attacking the white bishop again and uh, regaining the mobility of the knight uh, on f6 so as a matter of fact uh, this threat of e5 uh, is something of an illusion and um, black is uh, free to develop um, in this position so bishop b4 is in fact a perfectly normal french uh, typical typical for the French opening um, developing move. Uh, black, in fact, uh, creates a threat of uh, capturing on e4 and forces white uh, to do something about it. Uh, the other um, very important um, idea of bishop b4 and the one which uh, makes a difference to, uh, say, bishop e7. Uh, bishop e7 is the other main line, um, which goes e5 knight d7, uh, bishop takes e7, and so on, is that after bishop g5, uh, bishop b4, black is in fact actively fighting for the square e4. And uh, you will see displayed, for instance, in the line e5, h6, uh, let's say bishop d2, which is one of the moves, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, knight e4. So you see, one of the ideas of the McCutcheon is uh, posting the knight actively on e4 uh, rather than uh, retreating it to the square d7 which is infinitely more passive. So in a way uh, it is a very logical continuation of the basic idea of the French defense. So if we return to the very first moves e4, e6, d4, d5, uh, black is challenging uh, the white's uh, center, challenging the square e4 and after knight c3 black continues in the same uh, vein and after bishop g5 bishop b4 is another uh, very logical move continuing to uh, pursue the plan to put the pressure on uh, the pawn e4 and now white's hand is actually finally forced white has to do something about the e4 pawn and um, white has uh, several uh, continuations in this uh, position so e5 is definitely uh, the main move, uh, the most challenging continuation. The other move would be uh, e takes d5, uh, which is uh, slightly less threatening. And after e5, h6 is forced. 
and now white has uh, several continuations and we will actually take a look at all of them so one of them would be e takes f6 uh, one of them would be bishop h4 the others are bishop e3 bishop d2 and even bishop c1 and um, that's about uh, that's about it uh, it is um, worth mentioning uh, just uh, as paying a tribute to uh, the uh, the game which created uh, the McCutcheon variation that in the very first game in the game Steinitz McCutcheon in the simul game Steinitz actually played bishop takes f6 and uh, it's a probably typical simul move uh, because uh, uh, in a normal grandmaster game, I don't think Steinitz would have uh, considered a, a move like this after g takes f6. In fact, black has uh, two powerful bishops potentially. And uh, in fact, the pawn coming to f6 just puts additional pressure uh, at the white center and black is ready to follow up with c5. In fact, this position is already very comfortable for black and uh, the idea of Steinitz um, did not find many pursuers and um, this being said I think bishop f6 is not really uh, the move to be considered in this position so we will not uh, deal with this anymore as a matter of fact in the original game McCutcheon went on to win a very nice game uh, with black against Steinitz so this bishop takes f6 is not really recommended and uh, all the other moves um, uh, deserve uh, uh, serious attention and we will uh, gradually take a look at um, at all of them uh, it's also worth mentioning perhaps that uh, this um, DVD is mainly intended uh, to help you to build an opening repertoire with black uh, but since we will be looking at uh, m most of the lines in some detail also the players uh, who uh, want to learn McCutcheon from the white's perspective uh, will definitely find it uh, extremely useful and will definitely uh, find a weapon or two against McCutcheon which uh, uh, will appeal to their respective tastes and styles. And, um, okay, we'll do this in the following videos. Stay with us. Thanks.